Making good progress. About 500 meters into the trip. Uh, <laughs> 699.995 kilometers left. <laughs> Woo! So, TEDx on the Road is uh, an initiative where these ideas that are worth spreading, we want to take them to people who are outside of the cities, outside of the urban areas who may not be exposed or have the opportunity to be exposed to TED, the platform that we love, learned a lot from it, gained a lot from it, and we think that some people need to have that opportunity too. And also getting an opportunity to learn from them and capture some of their wisdom and their ideas. And I think it's a great opportunity to leverage the TEDx platform to expose those ideas to an audience who would otherwise not go out to these areas which are normally quite far um, distance-wise from where they're living. The primary objective is to go beyond portable. Where we then continue for another 500 k in a straight direction until we reach this tiny coastal village called on the clip by. The idea of TEDx on the road really started because of a thirst to travel, a thirst to explore, a thirst to learn about all the communities and all the you know these people that are within this beautiful country of ours. Welcome and on the clip by. <laughs> such an educational platform, why not use that as both to help educate and spread ideas as well as to learn some new ones. So Potatoes on the Road was, was launched. Open Africa were a natural partner organization for it because that's what they do. They've been doing it for years. They've formed these beautiful relationships with communities through these sort of off the beaten track areas. Northern Cape here we've got five routes of which I'm at the moment working with four of them and now we're starting to look at creating better linkages between these four routes so they can start marketing between each other. Routes particularly is important for the Northern Cape as it is so vast and often when I am marketing the destination the tour operators standard answers. It's too big, they don't really know where to go and tourists do not have a lot of time. So Root is the perfect tool and instrument to show people the adventure of seeing the unexplored, the unfamiliar. We held a big workshop here in Hondeklip Bay along the coast which forms part of one of the routes, the Nimakwa Coastal Route, and we had representatives from all of the routes come down as well as all of the local district municipalities and various other stakeholders and so we piloted the TEDx on the road where we've been screening some of the videos in the evenings after the workshops and the idea will be then to help the routes to work with TEDx Cape Town and create TEDx on the road in more along these routes. We want to come along Open Africa Roots and show some of the cool ideas that are on the TED platform. There's some incredible ideas all over the country and in the Northern Cape also, of course. The film so what you love is, is not a good one. Our young people are very inspiring and inspiring to do good things. Very interesting, we have talked about leadership and to see the first clip and the second clip and the last clip. There are also other people in the world who have the same problems. You know, one of the goals they spoke about is doubling the number of tourists that come to the Northern Cape. And, you know, at the moment there's around about 2% coming. So if we can double that, it will make a huge impact for, for the businesses here. You must remember that we are in a province that's least visited of all the provinces. You, you have to start focusing your energy to, to get everybody like ducks in a row. Yeah.
was je een dag net lekker gewis, reda in die straat. Ek reed toe daar een meisje, sy loop al aan sy pad. Telling the Northern Cape story will be absolutely and utterly amazing because the more the story is spreading, the more people are thinking, wow, that, that is an experience that I would like to personally experience. <laughs> Even how the businesses can learn from each other and see um, how they can improve their tourism experiences. Op een stadium was daar een poverty relief project. Die gasten is wat hulle gebouw het, het niks vir niks in nie. As net die vier mire wat daar staan. Maar waar een wille is een weg. Ek het my huise meubels afgebrek. Ek geef vir my mense stuive pap. Ek geef vir hulle met die gravy oor en vlees. Dis hoe hulle dit geniet. Dis gaste wat inkom wat vraag vir die afval, vir die kijkings. Ek geef dit soos dit is. En dis wat my product so uniek maak. Dan is die gaste uit is, dan is daar lef overspoor. Dis wat ons eet. En weet jy die toerisme? Hoor, dis die lieblike persoon wat daar kom. Weet jy, maar ek sê, hulle is my familie. As hulle gekom het, daar kom druk hulle aan my. Hulle is my verlang. Ons is nou bezig om een staproute te ontwikkel. Ons is bezig om een 4x4 route te ontwikkel. En ons is ook bezig om een fietsrijroute te ontwikkel. Wat nie in die verlede daar was nie. Wat ek geleer het van die TEDx, as jy ook jy net wil insit en saamwerk, ons sal ons hoogtes bereik. We came to the next town uh, called Koingnas to, to get some fuel because we need to get some fuel in and while we were driving we saw the engine almost overheated. The people that we encountered with our broken down vehicle and tried to fix the situation, they were, they were the friendliest people. This guy, 19 year old mechanic, uh, invited us into his house and his mom made us coffee and homemade rusks uh, while we were trying to sort out this crisis. So I think that was my favorite part because we really got to experience some of the community that live here. One of the people during one of the workshops said, uh, and I quote, said, uh, everybody should watch these videos. It does something with your mind. And I think we've all experienced that. Uh, and that's why we're sort of launching this project.